Hey guys, um, this is my first video of a new series. Anyways guys, before I start, um, I got these mantises from Bugs in Cyberspace, so I highly suggest you go check that out. Um, yeah, let's start the video. Series. So, this is my mantis series. This is Glarb, my giant Asian mantis. Uh, I think a female? Alright, so this mantis is a, um, I think an L3. Me an L2. I don't know. I think it's an L3. But, um, so, they have eight stages and they're molting. Um, this thing's gonna get a lot bigger. Like, a lot bigger. So, yeah, that's stage three. And let's get to basic care. Here's the setup. So, basically, you're gonna need a, um, well, you're gonna need coconut fiber. You're gonna need a plant. So, this is a big plant. Um, and you're gonna need a cage. Is it, uh, two times their length and three times their height um this one's a little bit too big but it works so you need to have temperatures around i think 70 to 80 degrees fahrenheit and humidity around 40 percent not quite there yet I, well that's that's in my room it's more humid in there but yeah um and that's probably it for the setup and she likes to hang out up there um this is my ghost mantis um this is Charlie. I mean, the other one is Potato. I have two of them, but I'm only going to show one. So this is my Ghost Mantis. Um, honestly, I think they're both females. Um, this is, uh, I think, an L2. And these are a lot smaller than my previous Mantis that I showed you. It's my hand. Um, so yeah, I get again eight stages. Um, these are very good for beginners. Uh, same as the other one. Uh, they have eight stages. I think I already said that. <laughs> um... Now they do like higher humidity than the Asian mantis, so that's what you're going to need to get for them. Um, and these guys are a lot smaller, so they'll feed on fruit flies. When they get bigger, you can feed them house flies and some, maybe small crickets. Um, yeah, so these definitely, these do not get nearly as big. I mean, these are only three inches as female, um... Asian mantises can get to about five and a half or six inches. So that's the ghost mantis right there. It's a closer look. All right, here's the setup. So basically you need a much smaller container for the babies than an Asian mantis cage. Um, they like more fall decorations. You can also put like sticks in there and um, other things. Uh, so these guys like a higher humidity. So you might want to spread their cages more often, like this. Uh, same substrate, um, coconut fiber. That's most for, uh, that's good for a lot of mantises, except for like a couple species. I don't know, like desert ones, or I have not done much research on other ones. So, yeah, coconut fiber definitely. Uh, same things go along with the Asian mantis. You know, three times their height and um, two times their length. Uh, that's definitely good. I mean, it could be a little bigger. I accidentally ordered a slightly bigger for my other ghost mantis, and I feel bad. It's a little too big. But he can live in that one, I think, for the rest of his life. So, yay. Anyways, guys, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.